Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is so exciting because I'm in Canada, yay! I don't think I've ever been more excited to be anywhere in my life, to be totally honest. Canada has been at the very top of my list for so, so long and I'm finally here. So, we have had a very busy 30 odd hours. We had a 10 hour flight yesterday an hour layover layover is that the right word probably not we had another couple of hours flight and then we had a five hour drive but we're here in jasper we're staying at the um chateau jasper is the name it's been a long day and i've had barely any sleep and then today today we're going on a motorbike ride and i'm so so exciting it's snowing i don't know if you can see it it's snowing but it is just so beautiful here um it is quite cloudy so i'm not sure you can see much but the mountains are in the background over here oh, it's much less visible now but you could see it earlier um but basically we are going to be in jasper now um banff we're going to lake louise tomorrow i'm so excited um calgary Basically, I'm going to take you along with me because I can't remember everywhere, but yeah, I'm so excited for you to see. <laughs> I've never looked more stylish in my entire life. We are at the Jasper motorcycle tour. We're about to get on. I'm so excited. Look at me. A super quick update because I've just got back to the hotel and I have about three minutes to get ready for dinner or to go to where we're having dinner. I have got the worst hat hair ever. So we've had just such an amazing first day already. What have we done? You saw the motorbike tour or a bit of the motorbike tour. It was so cool, so, so much fun. Then we went for an amazing lunch, which I think you also saw. And then, oh, we went to the um, Jasper Dark Sky Planetarium and it was so cool. And the guide whose name I can't remember, I think it was Ahad, was incredible. He was so, so funny. Um, and it was super interesting. I loved learning about everything. And now, oh, and then we also was waiting to see um, through like these solar telescopes, but we, but we actually ran out of time because we are now heading off to, we're heading off to the Jasper Park Lodge because tonight we're watching the symphony under the stars. I'll pop everything below, uh, but apparently it's going to be absolutely incredible, but it is going to be freezing cold. So I've got like four layers on under this jumper, tights on under my jeans, this massive blanket scarf, coats, gloves. I've even got some like like hand warmers inside my inside my gloves because when people said Canada was cold and I have Canadian family I know from them that it's freezing here a lot of the time it is cold <laughs>
Morning guys, it is full day two in Canada and we have got up, packed, left Chateau Jasper and we are on a three hour road trip to Lake Louise and Banff. I'm gonna make you a bit brighter. We are on a road trip going to Lake Louise, which I'm so excited about because it looks so beautiful, so incredible. And we've just stopped because the most amazing view, which I'll show you properly in a second, is behind me. We're still in Jasper, I think. Um, oh, there's some signs here, maybe I should just read them but it is one of the most honestly i know i'm being so boring and saying the same thing over and over again but it is so spectacular here everywhere you look is absolutely breathtaking and even though i'm surrounded by mountains at all times i could never get older this view and actually actually one of the guys that we met last night who was so wonderful um actually said that he's been here for years now and every morning he never ever takes it for granted and he just loves it so much and everyone that we've met in Jasper has said that. Even people that live in Jasper or live in the Rockies has always said, you never take this view for granted. So, <sighs> it's so beautiful here. Say hi girls. Hey. <laughs> We've decided to rent a canoe. Canoe? Kayak? Canoe? Which one? Bit of both. Bit of both. <laughs> and uh, it is so beautiful here. However, we did ask the guy to take a photo and he said no. <laughs> But it's so lovely we're at lake louise i'm gonna go now before i drop my camera in the water hey guys so it has been a little while but we are in banff and it is so beautiful the lighting is a little bit strange it looks very light but yes we have made it to banff and it is absolutely gorgeous the whole of alberta i've genuinely i know i've been so gushy in this vlog but it is genuinely the most breathtaking place ever so we've just checked in too and yes i don't even remember the name of the hotel because we have been so busy and we've traveled so much the mount royal hotel is absolutely beautiful i'm going to give you a quick room tour gorgeous bathroom <sighs> hello <laughs> i'm so tired and then we come around here nice full length mirror because actually that's something that i notice i I mean, a lot of hotels where I travel so much, and not many of them have a full length mirror. So, well done, Mount Royal Hotel. <laughs> Two double beds, which is incredible, and such a shame. It makes me want to have like my bestie or someone here with me. Lovely, lovely headboard. Lots and lots of room as well. I'm going to have a coffee in a minute because we've got an hour before we need to go. Cute little area here. And then, oh, just a beautiful, beautiful view of Banff. But guys, we've had the most amazing day today. Lake Louise, oh my God, was mind-blowingly beautiful. And me and two of the other girls, Charlotte and Rosie, who are so lovely, um, we have the nicest group. It's such a lovely little group that we have. Um, we decided to get on a kayak or a canoe. I'm not sure which one it is. Same, same, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and go out into the middle of the lake and just explore and oh my god it was absolutely beautiful we have slightly less than an hour now and then we are heading out again it's about the most free time that we've had so i'm gonna have a coffee catch up on a bit of work 
and just chill for a little bit of time and then we are going to a brewery tour um i have celiac disease i can't drink beer so i don't think i'm gonna be able to drink much but i will take you along with me anyway because obviously most of you will not have celiac disease or will not be gluten free um and these kind of places are always just super interesting anyway so i'll take you along with me I think they have some like gin drinks and we're going to a distillery afterwards as well which is meant to be absolutely incredible really good for um there was some kind of gin based cocktail that's meant to be amazing there so very excited for that and then we have dinner and then we're going bowling and i'm not gonna lie guys i'm absolutely shit at bowling <laughs> i'm so so bad but i'm excited because i just feel like it's getting into the canadian vibe not that like canada is known for bowling but i feel like it'll be a cute sort of fun evening out and then we're only in this hotel for one night which is such a shame because they have a rooftop hot tub and I would love to go in the hot tub so do I have time now probably not we're going to try and see if we can we're going to try and see if we can get there um tonight after our long day of doing things but oh I'm just loving Canada so much so far it is honestly in this moment i feel like it is the most incredible place i've ever visited and my favorite trip of the year and i think that this is trip number 27 ish maybe slightly more which is absolutely insane and ridiculous but um yeah it is just incredible here i'm so happy and so grateful to be here it's just amazing we are back at the hotel i am the epitome of exhausted because i've been so jet lagged and just not sleeping well at all even though the hotels and the beds are the most comfy things ever so i'm gonna take my makeup off have a bath maybe in this beautiful little bath here and then hopefully I'll sleep for a million years but yeah we just went to an amazing restaurant i can't actually remember the name so i'll link up everything below um, or mention everything below that we've done um, so so good it was the place that we did the distillery with but sadly um, they couldn't guarantee that everything was gluten free so I didn't do that I just watched um, I had a little cider which was very nice and then the food was incredible I had burger and chips and there was the most amount of chips ever so yeah such a fun evening we were going to go bowling but everyone is so so exhausted so yeah I'm so excited to sleep
Okay, so we've just checked into the Kananaskis Nordic Spa in Alberta, and oh my god, I am running late, so I'm going to give you the quickest room tour of all time, but it's the most incredible room that I've ever stayed in. Get excited. We walk in here, here's the first bathroom, lovely shower, lovely little sink area, technical terms. Then we come through here, we have a little coffee station, drinks, nice little welcome, charcuterie board. Here is my dressing gown, so I'm about to go to the um, spa. This is my little living room area with the most incredible, incredible, incredible view. Look, look at how amazing this is. I'm definitely gonna have um, a little coffee out here in the morning and then here's all my crap. Then we come upstairs. Oh my God, there's an upstairs. And yes, when you get up here, I have just dumped my suitcase and stuff down there. And then also my jeans on my bed. Here is um, a little sink area because that is another bathroom. One bed, two bed, and then the most insane view. I actually can't figure out how to put this up and down properly, but like ceiling, to floor windows. It's just the most incredible place I've ever seen. So it is a few hours later. Oh my God, the spa and the massage was honestly the most incredible thing I've ever done in my life. I wasn't allowed to film in the spa because obviously other people were in there as well, but tomorrow it is opening slightly early for us. So I'm gonna show you because it's all outside. There's three pools, all with like different heat temperatures. Um, there's two steam rooms, one smells of lavender, one eucalyptus. Oh guys, honestly, like I could have cried. It was that beautiful, like just absolutely amazing. Just so, so, so incredible. Um, and my massage was so ridiculously good as well. But yes, anyway, had a super quick change, washed my hair because it was greasier than a chip pan. And now we're going for dinner and everyone is sat down waiting for me. So I'm gonna go, but guys, honestly, the can canas... God, I'm get this wrong. Kananaskis Nordic Spa is like the best place I've ever been and stayed in my entire life. Morning guys, it's our final day in Canada and we've woken up early to try and get some pictures in the spa because we wasn't allowed to take pictures yesterday and oh my god it is so beautiful here. I'm going to show you around now. So we have made it to Calgary and we have just gone to the National Music Centre Studio Bell, which was actually so much fun. I did get some clips, um, so hopefully you could see that. And we got to see um, a piano, I think it was a piano, I'm not like the most musically gifted. Piano that Elton John wrote lots of songs on, apparently. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. And then we went to, oh, we also got to see, um, it was the Rolling Stones, like, bus their recording studio bus so they like took it around with them and recorded songs it was really really cool um, and then we had uh, some lunch in King Eddie's which is the restaurant in Studio Bell as well and now we're just in the East Village which is so pretty and then we're going home after and I'm so so not ready for it although I, I don't know if I mentioned West yet I'm sure I did because they are just the most incredible airline and I just love them so much the flight over here was incredible um, I am quite excited for like 10 hours of pure sleep and joy and films, comfort and just general happiness. Yeah. 